tiring. Stop. Uh. That's the last battle. Oh yeah, look, I'm wearing my mechanic shirt, see? This camera on. <sighs> Whose idea was this? This is when you bust your knuckles. My knees are already giving out. I'm old. Damn, these been sitting in my garage forever. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're gonna be installing all of these suspension components. So we got the Steeda Pro Sport, uh, we got the Ebok, and then we got 25 millimeter spacers to put on the car to make the stance look really, really, really good. These are all going on the car today. Damn, these have been sitting in my garage forever. Here we go, here's the springs that we're going. All the springs that are going on the car. It comes with new bump stop, new uh, dust things, and um, comes with everything. So uh, we're knocking all of this out today. So let's uh, get those wheels off. Stop. Uh. Now we have to take off the bolts, which is going to be a pain in the butt. Leave that one on. Take off this so we can get the strut out. So what I need to do is I need to go get my panel popper. Then I need to take this off, which that's going to be a... Oh, so good. This is when you bust your knuckles. Meow. <sighs> My knees are already giving out. I'm old. Alright, so now we got to get these big ass bolts back here. Uh -huh. Big bitch. Oh. <sighs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> oh yeah, look, I'm wearing my mechanic shirt, see? There's camera on it. These are actually what's holding in the strut, so get this out and then we can finally wiggle it out. Let's find out what size they is. Oh! <sighs> Dude, that shit's tight. You always screw the bolts to the end, like that. Now you gotta smack the living crap out of it. I say we door not It's out. There we go. Now, see why? So you unscrew this. And it's out. One, ah, done. Now your springs, you don't you don't need to do you don't need to like do the other stuff. Literally, all we're doing now is taking this and putting this back into the car. So literally that's it. So now that we have the new one going in, we just needed the top hat for this. So now what we could do is we can saw spring on this. And this goes here. So good thing I did get a new bolt. I think this is a bigger bolt. Okay, well, time to fall back. Oh, and the other. Oh, it's tiring. Dom. Ah, <laughs> right, done. 
And literally, we do the same things to the next side. So the next time we're not gonna, or the next side we're not gonna record unless we find something easier to do. But that's basically it. So it's basically just watching me twist nuts and bolts. But I mean, it is a lot of work. But yeah, we got it in. It looks all fancy. Oh, the back is so much easier. Look at that. Two bolts. That was it. Cool. There you go. <laughs> it's not doing anything. And just like that. You just have to have it big enough so it fits through because the stock one is a lot smaller than this. So. I'm pretty sure. Nope, see? It fit right here. I believe that's how you do it. Excellent. It's on. So. Next step is to hit the things out, which is going to be a pain. That's the last battery. gap the front on here has like a almost two fingers and then the rear this is the rear yeah only like one finger but that fit that fitment I love the way the 25 millimeter puts it out it's all done so you have to wait 50 miles or they say to drive 50 miles and it'll settle more so you get more of a feel for it but it looks good and then this is the front. The front I have a little bit of a toe, so I definitely need an alignment done. Yeah, definitely need a need an alignment done. You can see that the bottom pulls out more than the top, so definitely need alignment. Look at the way that sticks out. It's like they got they got meat. Well, that was a long install. How long did that take? Like four hours, five hours? Okay, so it was a five hour install. Really long, but it was definitely worth it. I'm really excited to see how it feels. One thing I did want to say is that it is the pro version, so they're adjustable. So I can change how uh, soft the dampeners do. So meaning that when I hit a bump and it goes down really hard and it suits back up, I can change that. So when I'm, you know, racing, on the track or uh, turning really hard it stays stiff so then i don't move i don't oversteer and blah blah so it's a it's a good thing and when i get a uh, front and rear sway bars um it, it's gonna add a lot of control and it's gonna feel really really stuck to the ground i, ha I put it on halfway through on that right now see how that feels if it's too hard for me just daily driving i'm gonna change it with all that guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe if you could believe it you can achieve it i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya